What's going on YouTube? Jay's Vapes here. Welcome back and thank you so much for tuning in. Today for review, we're going to be looking at a sub on tank. All right. We got the Crown 4 sub on tank by UL. First of all, I want to apologize. This is not going to be the video I intended it to be. Uh, I had a whole video already recorded where I went over the whole tank, took it apart up close, showed you everything. And for whatever reason, the sound is totally messed up on that video. I can't get it to edit on the on my new editing software, so we're redoing this video, trying it again, but the tank is already assembled, it's already together, I've already been vaping on it, so we're not gonna do the whole breaking it apart, taking it down, it's just gonna be like a quick look, let y'all know everything, and give you my thoughts on the tank. Like I said, I'm still new to this, uh, I mean, I just got this computer, I'm having to relearn everything all over again, as excited as I am to have this computer, and as happy as I am to have it, uh, I'm having to relearn everything all over again, I taught myself everything, how to edit videos on my phone. Everything I know how to do is on the phone, so I'm having to relearn everything on the computer. So y'all bear with me over the next couple of days, weeks, however long it takes me to get the hang of this. But like I said, we're gonna take a look at this Crown 4. It's got a little bit of hype built up around it. Um, Crown products have always been good. I've always wanted the Crown 3, and for whatever reason, I never pulled the trigger on it. Uh, but the Crown 4 come out, I've seen it. It's got mixed reviews. Some reviewers really love it, some didn't. I've got it in black. Got the color configuration. Oh, can't talk. Configuration on the front there, big worn labels. The back here got all your information. You will, you will. It says Crown 4 atomizer, user manual, drip tip cover, a 0.4 ohm pre installed coil, a 0.2 ohm coil is the extra coil, pack replacement o rings, and a spare glass tube. Now here's the problem. When the big reviewers did the reviews on this, the company sent them mesh coils with the tank. They didn't come in the actual package itself. When you look online, it's kind of misleading. Like where I bought it, I bought it at 8 Vape, and it talks about the mesh coils, and it makes it sound like the mesh coils are in the package. The mesh coils are not in included with the tank. It comes with a regular round wire. Comes with that 0.4 ohm that's installed in the 0.2 ohm. I've already been through the 0.4 ohm already, and I hate to review ruin the re review, but I was not impressed with this coil at all. These are stainless steel 904L is what they're made out of. They're supposed to be super uh, like anti-corrosive. They're not supposed to gunk up. They're supposed to stay clean. They're supposed to last longer. These are just regular round wire coils. Like I said, stainless steel 904. The problem is, you know, the coil may stay clean, but that's got nothing to do with the cotton. You know, if the cotton get used in sweet juices, the cotton gunks up, it's the coil's still gonna go out. So these are regular round wire coils. Um, I wish I had a mesh coil to compare it to, but I don't, you know, you can purchase them separately. I just want y'all to know they're not gonna come in this tank when you buy it. But there's a look at the tank. You got this minimum line on one side. Just wanna keep your juice above that line and not burn your coil out. Then you got the crown sim on the other side. You got a 510 drip tip on top there. So this is 510. It is not 810 compatible. You're not able to use your 810 drip tips. That's kind of personal con in my opinion. The top cap, it's not the easiest top cap to get off. It has like these little teeth. It has these little teeth on the inside. It's very unique the way the top cap catches. The teeth like go down one layer and you turn, they go down another layer. So it's kind of like a double locking feature. Pretty nice for it not coming open, but just not the best top feel in my opinion. The bottom there says, you will crown for myul.com. You got three airflow adjustments, pretty beefy airflow adjustments all the way around it. That's another thing you would think, you would think that you got a lot of airflow because of how big those are, but it's almost like with this 510 drip tip, it's so small and so narrow, it kind of just restricts that airflow a little bit. The coils on this thing are like a plug and play system. I don't know, I don't know if I can take this out of there <laughs> without dumping my juice. I'm pretty sure if I take that coil out there, it's gonna dump your juice. But it's real simple and easy, just like all the other ones. Uh, you're just gonna unscrew the base and the coil is right there on top. Like I said it's a plug and play, it doesn't unscrew. All you do is grab hold of it and pull it out. You don't want to grab right here in the contact because that's where you're making contact. You don't want to pull that apart and break your coil. You want to grab it around this stainless steel part. Just get your fingernails in there and it pops right out. The new one, uh, same thing. You're just going to pop it right down in there and screw it back together. Pretty simple, pretty easy. Uh, 
I don't know much about this new design they got on the coils. It's something about a recycling type program type deal. Uh, the design they got on the bottom of the coil there, you see it kind of looks like a gear. I said, I don't know the whole background story of it. It's supposed to like recycle condensation and juice, you know, so if anything leaks out, it's supposed to recycle it back up into the tank. I can't really speak on that. Not real sure how well that works. Was not impressed with that 0.4 ohm coil for whatever reason. Uh, a lot of times with me and sub ohm tanks, I prefer the lower ohms, higher watts. I like that warm, just you know, that's a satisfying vape for me. The higher the higher ohms, I usually don't get that out of. I was not, like I said, impressed at all with that coil. Um, the flavor was just not great. You know, it was really really average flavor. Not a mesh coil by no means. Uh, I'm sure this tank will be a lot better with a mesh coil. Right now we got that 0.2 ohm coil in there. Sitting, it's reading at a 0.22, 75 watts, pushing 4.09 volts. So tons of cloud production. It's super smooth. Airflow is really smooth on this thing. The flavor on this. 0.2 ohm coil is so much better than that 0.4. It's crazy. It don't make no sense, but that's just seems to always be the case with me. It's what I prefer. Uh, I'm getting way more flavor out of this coil than I did that one. I like the warm vape. The flavor on this is good. Like I said, it's nothing fantastic. It's definitely not a mesh coil. I'm sure this tank would be so much better with those mesh coils. I am going to get them, try them out. I'll let y'all know, you know, later on down the road, what I think about it. But you can order the mesh coils. If I was going to buy this tank, I would definitely include the mesh coils in with it. I was just really under, you know, the impression that this was going to come with mesh coils the way they talked about it. I thought maybe at least one of them would be a mesh coil. So like I said, good flavor, especially for a round wire coil, not a mesh. U Will is really known, I think, for their coils. You know, the Valerian tank, the Nunchaku, all the Crown series. They're really known for the coils. They make good coils. Uh, as far as that corrosive resistance goes, uh, I don't know. It just it looks the same to me down in there. It looks just like a regular coil used look after you burn it for a week or so. I didn't experience no burnt taste, no dry taste, no nothing with that coil. I can say that. It still wasn't done with it yet. I just really want to try this one. Like I said, I put it in there for the video. They got messed up. <laughs> so now I'm just vaping on it and giving you my thoughts. Uh, like I said, again, good flavor. It's not nothing fantastic. Airflow smooth. Um, the plug and play coils, that's a cool thing. Three big airflow slots. Only thing I wish is able to train, change that drip tip. I'm not crazy about the 510 drip tip. I'm not crazy about the way it restricts it. Uh, I mean, I'm assuming that gives you better flavor. You know, just bringing it up into that small channel straight into your mouth. <laughs> I'm assuming that gives it better flavor. I don't know. But anyway, guys, not a bad sub on tank. Do I think it's worth all the hype it's got? Not really. Maybe with the mesh coil, like I said, I may change my opinion totally with that mesh coil. But as far as the coils that come with it, it's just okay. It's nothing special. It's nothing great. Flavor is good at best. I say flavor is a B. You know, I wouldn't say a B plus or an A. I'd say just a solid B. But that's it, guys. Just a quick look at it. Like I said, I do apologize. I had a longer video. I had a better video planned. But <laughs> this is what we're working with today. Thank y'all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Y'all come back tomorrow for another review. If you're new here, then please consider subscribing. Hit that like button for me. And this is Jay's Vape. Sam Rare, people. Don't drip and drive.